More initiates. Hmm. The compound's getting less secure all the time. Still, I suppose the Master knows what he's doing. And if you can follow the ways of Revan, we'll judge your worth. You have my attention. Revan didn't work alone. Revan had allies, all walks of life. We're no different. You want to join us? You need to face the men and women who got here first and who've proved that they're loyal to the Master. What would have to be done? You need to show those in the Master's inner circle that you understand Revan's teachings. They'll ask questions. You'll answer. If they're not satisfied, they'll abandon the test of wisdom and begin your test of strength. Revan didn't suffer the weak. I'd expect nothing less. I'll do what's needed. I'm glad to hear that. Your pilgrimage starts in the jungle. You'll find your first guide there. He'll determine whether you're worth sending on to the rest. Be ready for anything, Initiate. The jungle's dangerous, and so are the true Revanites. So, you have come. You who would join the Order of Revan. I am Moron Dokas, Lord of Beasts. I am Revanite, and I am Sith. What do you say to me? Moron Dukas, I've come to prove myself worthy. Very well. Then listen. For decades I have served the Master. He found me when I was a lava and saw that I was strong in the Force. Against the Empire's traditions he trained me. This is the way of Revan, to teach all species the path to power. I comprehend your meaning. Good. Now you will answer a question. And you will answer well, or face the claws of my pets. Why do you think Revan trained aliens in the ways of the Sith? Why did Revan offer power to all Seekers? Revan knew that servants are more useful when they're powerful. You answer well. You answer wisely. You speak like a true Revanite. You may proceed on your pilgrimage and seek worth in the eyes of another. Any suggestions on how to deal with this guide? No. You will do this on your own. Seek the mercenary called Setafar as she teaches her soldiers. Then shall your trial continue. Talking. Have some of the men head into the city. They've earned a break from training. Yes, Commander. It's good to see you alive. Not everyone makes it past Morin. Raymond contacted me from the base. Said you wanted to join our society. Is it true? It's true. I'm seeking the approval of the Inner Circle. I'm called Setafar. I teach these mercenaries how to fight. My service to the Master is a matter of honor. Centuries ago, my clan fought Revan when we invaded the Republic with the rest of the Mandalorians. It was our privilege to battle Jedi. We lost the war over Malkor V, but that was a privilege too. It's out of respect for Revan that I agreed to join the Master. I see what you're saying. I serve the order to ensure Revan's name isn't forgotten. Revan was a warrior, a leader, and deserves to be remembered. Since you're not bound by honor, how do I know you won't sully the Dark Lord's memory? What can you do for the order in Revan's name? I'll learn all I can about Revan's past. Fine. The order has enough warriors. You might be able to serve. You'll need to talk to one more person before you head back to the compound. Find Major Pathel. He oversees security on the wall. I will be there soon. Glory to Mandalore, and glory to our master. Come on over. There's nothing to trouble us here, and we can speak freely. I'm Major Pathel, at your service. It's always wonderful to meet new initiates. The Order of Revan needs all the dedicated young people it can get. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. I don't know how your other meetings went, but I like to conduct these interviews informally. No point making your life difficult, eh? And quite a few initiates, young officers, acolytes and the like, think our secret society will help them become morphs or dark lords. You're not like that, I presume? I need no help to claim my rightful place. Ah, I didn't think so. Not every initiate realizes that advancement in the Revanites does not guarantee advancement in the Empire nor how dangerous being a Revanite really is. The Dark Council seeks to root us out. So, how do we respond? How do we answer the Empire's accusations of heresy? 
We need to show our enemies the truth. And we will, wherever we can. Not to say we shouldn't defend ourselves, but we won't become traitors to the Empire either. That's all I needed to make my judgment. I'm going to send a message to the compound. Raymond will be waiting for you. I think it's time that I be going. Journey safely, and be proud to be a part of the Order of Revan. So you finished the pilgrimage. Not bad. I don't know what happened out there. It's none of my business. But the inner circle approves of your initiation. As it should be. You did good in this trial. Now you'll have to find someone else to show you the next stage of the journey. You have been most helpful. Good luck. Every step brings you closer to the Master. Well, you really made it, didn't you? I've been hearing a lot about your progress, hearing about your trials. Your initiation has not been an easy one. But you've met the challenge and showed you can walk Revan's path. Now you may undergo the final rite. I appreciate the chance. The Master will complete your lessons, and you'll be welcomed as a full member of the Order of Revan. This is a great privilege. The Master reveals himself to no one outside the Order. I promise I won't abuse your trust. You may go to the Master in his chamber. He'll be waiting for you. Listen to him, obey him. Through the Master, you will know the path of Revan. You have died and been reborn. Stand before me now. You who have reclaimed the ancient past, stand before me now. You who have demonstrated power and wisdom to my followers, look upon the master of the Order of Revan. As you decree, my lord. This is the end of your initiation and the beginning of your true journey. You will walk the path of Revan forevermore. The enemies of the Order will force you to move in shadows. But we shall keep your secrets safe, as you shall keep ours. The time for subterfuge is over. Know me for who I am. I thought the Master was a man. The Rue serves its purpose. Besides, it felt appropriate. Revan's own gender is unclear in many of our records. I apologize for the deception, and for not meeting you sooner. But you must know how badly the Dark Council wants me dead. The Order of Revan threatens everything the Dark Council prizes. What makes the Order such a threat? Revan came to Drummond Cass after being reborn. Some believe Revan died at the hands of our Emperor. I believe otherwise. I believe Revan overthrew the Emperor and has sat secretly on the throne for three centuries. Aside from our Order, only the Dark Council knows the truth. You really think Revan replaced the Emperor? I do. It's the only way the puzzle pieces fit. I have heard whispers in the Citadel. For decades, the Emperor has been in seclusion. The Dark Council no longer speaks with him. The only explanation is this. The Dark Council betrayed their leader and locked Emperor Revan away, seizing power for themselves. They seek to silence us because we know. We shouldn't let them get away with this. We will. It will take many years to free the Emperor, however, and first I need your help on a different matter. My agents tell me that you met with a Sith named Sandor, a man who seeks to destroy the Revanites. End his threat. Go to Sandor and tell him that you met the Revanite leader. Tell him that the leader is his own master, Darth Charnas. Why would he believe me? I obtained this Sith amulet from Charnas. Give it to Sandor. He'll believe you stole it from his master while among the Revanites. They will turn against each other. When this is done, though, when you've spoken to Sandor, you cannot return here. If that is your will, master, then I obey. Sandor must never suspect your true allegiance. You must walk the path of Revan on your own. The path to power. The path neither Jedi nor Sith. May the Force be with you. May it make you strong. The Master of the Lightsaber returns. It must have taken great willpower to leave the Revanite cultists alive long enough to investigate them. Tell me now, did you find what we need? Did you see the face of the leader? 
It was a man. I couldn't learn his name, but he wore this amulet. Oh, perhaps that will be enough. A symbol of rank or affiliation or... This. I know this amulet. How did you obtain it? I can be very persuasive. This is the amulet of my master, Darth Charnas, taken from the Order of Revan. Speak to no one of this. I will deal with my master myself. I'll leave you to it, then. Take your payment for my own keepings. It is all I can offer you without alerting Darth Charnas. Leave now. We cannot be seen together any longer, and I have much to do. I wish you the best. You've done well. Now go, and beware of Charnas. <laughs> I feel your anger, Master. A blind, deaf, comatose, lobotomy patient could feel my anger! Okay, I'm officially scared. This is impossible. An unknown power must be shielding this man, which only confirms my suspicions. This Republic agent is the key to unlocking the threat we face. I must harness my rage and frustration. They will lead me to an answer. Trust your feelings, Master. <laughs> the minion advises the Master. Very good. You'll demonstrate your progress. And the word has spread that Lord Grattan is incensed at the slaying of his secret son. I take it that was your handiwork? After dealing with his son, I stayed to socialize with Lady Grathen. An added humiliation for him. Ah, oh, my young apprentice, you have just cheered me up. I haven't heard from Dreykel Ball, my agent in Grathen's camp. He's missed a scheduled communication. Let me guess. He gave you trouble, did he? He left me no choice, Master. I had to kill him. Oh, no matter. He fulfilled his primary purpose. Every Sith must attempt to orchestrate his own promotion. Now, back to my prisoner. There's one last possibility to break him. I thought it impossible, but perhaps there's a small chance you could pull it off. Over a millennium past, the Emperor claimed Drummond Kass and made the Dark Temple the epicenter of Dark Force energy. In the bowels of the temple, he conducted horrifying experiments that drained the knowledge and life essence from all the greatest Sith Lords of the time. Sounds like my kind of guy. I'm sure that he would be relieved to hear that you approve. The Emperor created a device called the Ravager that ate his victims' minds and delivered to him their greatest secrets. No one could withstand the Ravager's intrusion. Even the strongest Sith Lords of the Empire confessed whatever the Emperor craved. I'm sure the Emperor has the best toys. I wouldn't call the Ravager a toy, Apprentice. It's not to be taken lightly. The Emperor keeps the Ravager hidden in the Dark Temple, which has, in his absence, become a death trap. There's a good chance the horrors that await you will be too severe. But it's worth your life to me. The legends describe a secret chamber in the depths of the Dark Temple where the Ravager was encased. You'll know the device by its inscription. Be swift, apprentice. <laughs> <laughs>